This video will show you how to use the basics of PebblePad. Inside your PebblePad you will find you have two toolbars. The first is this dark grey which gives you access to Atlas which is covered in other videos and your asset store. This is where all your items inside PebblePad are stored. The second toolbar is this green one here and this allows you to create content inside your PebblePad account. The first, Add New, allows you to create new assets within your account. An asset is a single item, for example a post, which can consist of a title and some content. An asset could be a file that you upload from your computer. It could be your CV, a plan, experience, reflection or talent. You can also click view all to see additional templates that you have in your resource centre. The second is design new and this allows you to create an asset which utilises other assets to build a larger collection. View allows you access to your asset store your list of contacts, messages, the details about yourself and the tags that you use in the assets store to help collate your assets. Tools and resources gives you links to Atlas, the resource center and the ability to build your own template. Settings allows you to change the notification settings that you receive from PebblePad. We're first going to have a look at how to create an asset and then how to incorporate that into a web folio. To create your asset, click Add New and select the type of asset you'd like to create. We're simply going to create a post. In your post, enter your title, and then the information that you wish to post. You can then click the save button and your asset has been saved. This is the most basic of functions inside PebblePad. You can now close your asset. To recover it, either click up here for the asset store or view assets. In the asset store you will find that your post is now available here. You can select this and either click view or double click to open up your asset it will be in preview mode. If you wish to edit your asset, click the pencil mark. You are now able to continue editing your asset. Once you have accumulated several assets, you'll find that your asset store becomes rather complicated. To help you with this, you have the ability to tag your assets. If you select your asset and open it, on the bottom here you will be able to select the view or add tags item. In here you can either see all tags that you have previously used allowing you to utilize the same tags or add your new tags in the top here. After each tag, either press enter or place a comma and it will automatically create the tag for you. Once you've selected the tags that are relevant to that asset, click save. And your asset will now be tagged. In the asset store, the tags will be listed along here. You can use these to help filter your results. Use the filter button at the top and then enter in the tags you wish to filter under. Then click search and it will list all of your assets that utilize that tag. So after you have your assets you wish to combine them into a web folio. You can do that using Design New and then Web Folio. 
Webfolio is a portfolio that is online and is made up of several pages. A single page online portfolio can be created using Folio page. When you open up your webfolio, the first thing you need to do is give it a title. and a description. It is advisable to click save at this point. To build your web folio you need to click new page or if you already have folio pages you can use those. Clicking new page will create a new blank page. You need to give this page a title the first of these will appear as the navigation the second is the title that will appear on the page and you can also give it a description To add elements to this page you can use the toolbar that has appeared at the top under layout. In here you can create text areas. This is an area of block text. The next is an area of text that has a media element on the left hand side or the right hand side. Here you can place your text and you can choose a media file. This can be a photo or a video. The last of the layout elements is just a media element by itself. You can put as many elements of the as you wish onto a single web folio page. Remember to keep saving your work as you go. If you wish to preview how your page will look, select the eye symbol at the top. This will show you how it will appear to any viewers. You can click the pencil to go back in and edit it at any time. Once you've finished creating your first page you can use the add page button in the toolbar to add additional pages. You can add a new blank page, existing page, a collection of pages, a blog or existing asset from your asset store. Just click and drag, then drop into your web folio and repeat the process for page 1. If you wish to add assets to your web folio, you can do that inside text elements. Simply select the piece of text which you wish to use to link to your asset and you'll get an additional toolbar. You can also use this toolbar for making items bold, italic, changing colour, selecting the format style. You have here the ability to link to your assets, link to a website, or insert a link to an email address. The last option removes all formatting from the text that you have selected. So if we're linking to an asset we select asset link which will open up our available assets in our asset store and we can link then to the example post that we created before. 
If we preview this, we can see the left hand navigation, pages 1 and pages 2, and clicking on example will open up the asset example post. Again, clicking the pencil icon will take you back into edit mode. If you didn't wish to use the link uh, to asset method but wish to actually embed your asset directly into your web folio, you can use the add page existing asset and just drop that into your web folio and then select the asset that you'd like to add. This time I'm going to select a reflection that I've written. Click confirm and this will drop this onto the left hand side. You can edit your asset inside your web folio and again when you preview this asset instead of opening up in a new window the asset, this asset is available on the left hand side. When you're done with your asset you can click save and close your asset and then if you wish to access it again you can do so via the asset store. These are the very basics of Pebblepad. More advanced features will be covered in other videos.